Hey Gemini, and welcome to your weekly love tarot readings. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you, Hey Gemini, in relation to love and romance. Now, these messages are intended for Gemini Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course, for those of you that are cross watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the cards to shuffle and see what messages are coming up for you here this week. As, just as I'm shuffling the cards, I do want to say, for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here in the show more section below. Okay, we've got the Knight of Wands here. The Six, I mean the Five of Cups. Okay, I am mathematically challenged, so... I guess that makes it okay. The nine of wands, the sun here. Okay, bottom row, the eight of swords, the seven of cups, the ace of wands, and the king of swords. Wow, okay, a lot of fire here. A lot of fire energy. There is something here that I feel like is... There is something here that's on your mind. Something or someone is on your mind here. There is something here that you'll have to deal with Gemini or you'll have to take a closer look at it okay someone around you strong water energy here feels like they feel like they've let you down or they feel like they've disappointed you or there's this heavy burden or there's this heavy energy to this connecting energy here okay this is a romantic interest this is maybe someone in the past here this is someone whom you might have disconnected with maybe this person has ghosted you or they've um, faded they've sort of fallen off your radar here uh, for some of you i feel like this is someone whom you've broken up with recently maybe um, whoever this person is to you um, i feel like they, i want you to know that their energy right now feels very heavy gemini in a sense that this person has they felt like they've let you down this person feels like they've they they could have done more for you or they could have done more to salvage your connection here Notice the cloaked figure and, you know, those slouched shoulders, his body language here is indicative of, you know, disappointment here, lost disappointment. So it is someone who feels like they've lost you or they are losing you or that they should have done in, like, they should have fought for you. They should have done more to make you stay. It could be that this person, they've used their words as a weapon here and they feel very disappointed with themselves as well. However, this person feels like all is not lost though, Gemini, and it's very likely that there is something here to do with this person energy here that I feel like will connect you back to them it could be an emotional thread that still connects you together uh, in saying that there could still be some feelings on your end um, and as, um, as equally important um, there's definitely feelings on his or her end all is not lost for this person so they feel like they may still have a chance to recover some things here with you they may still have a chance to get you back or to apologize or to make amends so you may find that you hear from this person this week but i feel like there's this urge i don't know why it feels like this person has they've got something important to tell you something that they want to tell you something that they feel like you should hear now like not tomorrow not next week not next month like this can't wait i don't know why it's so important gemini i don't know if there's some sort of deadline I don't know if they feel like someone else might beat them to the punch. I don't know why it's important. Um, I guess you you could tell me why there's this sense of urgency that this person might feel here. Because I feel like there is something here that, or maybe you, or maybe it's, you know, maybe it's they will reach out to you, he Gemini, and you will feel that sense of urgency to reply because maybe it's something that they say will evoke such a strong emotional response in you that you feel the need to you know snap back or you feel the need to say something or to respond here okay that's interesting here that is interesting here i also feel like there is something here that's going to be illuminated to you this week but i feel like it's something here that was being kept hidden it could be about this person it could be about their feelings for you it could be something completely not related to this person's energy it could be something about you some information here this, this information was being kept hidden from you or I feel like you sort of chose to overlook, gloss over it. It feels like it was like concealed by something, by a darkness or something and now all of a sudden it's being illuminated. Maybe 
it was there all along you just chose not to see it or I don't know why it's being or maybe at this point in time you need to discover it. this information needs to be revealed or discovered by you here at this particular point in time because it's probably most useful to you at this point in time if that makes sense so something here and it's funny because it's not like oh okay you find something out and that's it and you move on from it but this information leads to some sort of discovery it does it leads to some sort of discovery some sort of revelation he has um, a big reveal a secret comes out information is exposed something that you might have thought you knew all along is then validated or is confirmed it's a very interesting but again i feel like that information was somehow always around you but i feel like the reason why you will discover it this week is it's most useful to you at this point in time okay um what, what's holding you back here? There's something here on your mind here with the Eight of Swords here. Um, you're not willing to budge from something or someone. It could be that you, you've not yet released this person's energy here, Gemini. Maybe a lot of you feel like you're not ready to move on from someone or you're not moving... You're, sorry, sorry, you're not ready to move on from a connection. It could be that you're not ready to move on from this person mentally and in your mind you could still have you know, these expectations that one day the two of you might reconcile, reunite or sort of reconnect here. Um, or there is something here that I feel like you're just... I don't know why, but you may feel like you're a sense... Like in a way you're entrapped here by something or someone or you feel like you've got no room to go here you feel very power powerless here maybe you feel like someone has taken um, your power away from you maybe you feel like someone here has has you feeling trapped or has you feeling imprisoned I don't know why you feel this way you honestly to me I see you Gemini as feeling as though you've backed up into a corner with nowhere to go here and you're like you're scared to step out of this corner. You're scared to step out of this phase here. I don't know why you, you fear that or you feel this way here, Gemini. It's important to know you do have people around you whom you know who can who can help you here. Um, and it's important to know that a lot of the times um, you know the the notion of fear, fear isn't real. Danger is. Okay, so it's important for you to make that, uh, you know, to uh, make that dis uh, distinction here, you know, the, the, the distinction between fear and danger, because fear is not real. Fear is made up, fear is in the mind. Um, but the presence of danger, that's very real. So I wonder if some of you have these fears or insecurities about something or someone here and a lot of it I feel like maybe you're sort of you know they're being constructed here they're not necessarily real you're just overthinking it or you're you're just putting things in your head here Gemini you've got someone here you've got someone around you that I feel like is reaching out to you and I feel like it's this connecting energy here that's let you down they've they've done or they have They've done something here to improve themselves or they they will say something here that I feel like may improve their argument um, to win you back over. There is someone here who I feel like this person still has um, a lot of enthusiasm um, and they're very keen in getting back with you or in, you know, in sort of rekindling here, rekindling a passion or reconciling here. This is someone who I feel like emotionally, let me tell you, this person is scattered. They're all over the place from what I can tell. They're all over the place, which doesn't help you, does it? But emotionally, this person is scattered. Um, they can be very inconsistent as well. I don't know that this, look, this person knows what they want, but I feel like they don't know how to go about that. What they want is you. Um, but I don't feel like they know how to go about that Gemini and this is why I feel like you know they're very they can be very impulsive here which sometimes then it leads them to regret their actions later um, I feel like their intentions are in the right place but I just feel like sometimes they fight a war within themselves here hot and cold energy it could be you may feel 
like your moods might fluctuate okay this week here um, you may feel like you know um, this week you, it could be that the people that you uh, deal with most on a daily basis may get you know to see both sides of your twin energies here um, and they may not know at times this week they may not know which twin they're dealing with um, it just could be that yeah you're you're very sensitive here to other people's moods as well this week um, it could be you, you could just find yourself in a bit of an emotional roller coaster it could be you know something that this person says or the return of someone he might have you feeling a certain way here but I'm getting that there is inconsistency here with your emotions it's just gonna be that type of week just write it out here Gemini is what I'm seeing um, the king of swords as well I just want to finish up on the note that there's going to be an, a reason there's going to be a need for you to be really blunt with someone here, okay? That's not to say you have to be rude or short with them, but there's going to be a reason, a need for you to be very honest here, okay? And the, the honest truth, the honest, transparent truth can hurt this person, but I feel like it's the only way forward. If you want to achieve some sort of progression or if you want to achieve some sort of breakthrough with this person, whoever this person is to you, is a disconnecting energy, is it someone else here? But there's going to be a, a, a need for you to be very... You're not being savage, although it may seem that way, but you need to be honest here. Even if honesty or even if the truth does hurt them a little or a lot, they need to hear it. They need to hear this. It'll be good for you, but it'll also be good for them here, Gemini. Alright guys, and that's all I have for you. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting or sharing. I'll be sharing with you more tarot love readings throughout the week. Stay tuned. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.